Welcome to Manic Autistic Superhero Chapter 5, Pulling Threads. Super Dude said to watch the world. I think that's doable. I definitely need a few things first. Bulletproof jumpsuit is a must, huh? Oh, but delivering it to my house might be a bad idea. Don't we have a P.O. box? What? Three weeks. Uh, I guess in the meantime, I'll just order a bulletproof vest and a shirt with a logo. Ah, uh, this is stupid. No amount of costume can take away what's under it. You're autistic! And you've got me. The general population already looks down on heroes like that. You know most of them don't have powers. Are you sure? Maybe it's more common than you think. After all, you met that woman in your dream with powers. Maybe Super Dude just makes him keep it secret. He tried to get you to keep it secret. Manic, you were supposed to wash the dishes. Clean the kitchen. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Sigh. Watch the world. Watch the world. Watch my world. Watch the world. Learn from what you've observed. Watch my world. What is clear is becoming blurred. At this point, that might be preferred. All this sorrow seems undeserved. Watch the world. Use from what you've learned. So the future is unconfirmed. Bam! Why do I have to wear a mask? Gasp! One. W what the bleep is this? Floating metal? Hey, hero, now what? Uh -huh. Hand over the gun. Bleep no! Two. Blam. Two. Two what? Nothing? What the bleep is your problem, you bleep? Blam, blam, blam. Blam. Ah! Tack, 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 tack. Three, four, five, six! Now do something! What? Click, click. Oh, bleep. What the? My gun. Handcuffs. Really? Why didn't you lead with this? You, you had live ammunition. So, of course, rather than disarm it, you wait for me to use it. This all made so much more sense in my head. Wow. You're the new hero, right? And you're so cute. I have a cousin with ears like that. Why are you here? What's wrong with you? The guy had a gun. You should have run. But you were handling it. That makes no sense. I mean, if the police were here, you'd retreat to a safe distance. Well, yeah, but I don't trust the police. Exactly how stupid are you? Uh, what? You're saying you trust an untrained vigilante more than the police? I mean, I just let the guy get away. Oh, dang. Hey. No! Don't make me run! Hey, wait! What's your hero name? What? Uh, are you, you're not serious! How many times do I have to call you stupid? He's getting away! Yeah, but he didn't actually steal my stuff, so it's okay! Are you an NPC? You are so dumb! He had a gun! He'll just get another one and do this again! Oh, right. But... How will he get those handcuffs you made off? The cam was invented way before the can opener. He'll find a way. I guess so, but, um, how? Oh, I'm Jay, there are ways. Do you really want me to list them all? Huff, 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 huff. Slam, slam, bang, 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 ding dong, ding dong. Damn it, Amanda, open the door. Oh, come on, Dale, you have hands. Ugh. So, you got arrested again. No, this is my gun. That new super from the news came after me. Why? It's still at home, in the backyard. Good, I need that freak's power. Freak, huh? Fine way to talk about your child. A sea of blossoms. 
Dylan! A freak cursed me so I need your freak powers to- Oh, what hell have I entered? Dad! Ugh! Just a sec. What the bleep are you doing out here? Why is the oak a bleeping pink thing? Cherry blossom tree, Dad. What's wrong with your face? Ugh. I'm getting over a cold? Fine. Fix this. Freak tur a freak turned my gun into handcuffs. Why do you think I can- Fix it! I work with plants! Fix it! Okay, I'll try. Mm. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Whoa! I can infuse objects with plants. Great. Now fix my gun. Uh, dude, I don't think it's possible. Fix it! The barrel is sliced in half. Vertically. Fix it! The cylinder is also cut in half. Fix it! Ugh! It's not possible! Then you're grounded till I get a new gang gun from the gang leader. What? How's that fair? Life's not fair! Police precinct. Jenkins, this is ridiculous. You need to stay on good terms with the police. <laughs> this sounds very lame. I mean, a civilian complaint. Why am I here? Well, you were requested. Since when do we take civilian requests seriously? The hell? Well, I may have misspoke when I said civilian. Where are they? Why aren't they here? Now calm down. Bat Vader, Vader is on his way. Yeah, and Super Dude? We've been unable to reach him. Manic! Manic called this in? But why? The Technomancer called this in. And you knew? Don't you understand how dangerous it is for me to be near them? I also knew it was Manic. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm mad at... <sighs> Listen, Bat. Your notes clearly state Manic won't kill. Not even AI. Don't have any AI. Oh, come on. Manic clearly doesn't know. And all, all you must do is pretend to be a robot sent by the real Bat V because he is busy. And then Manic won't be tempted to disassemble your armor. Okay, I can fool Manic. But the cops? Look, my associates won't question it. They're morons. Well, unless you run into David, but he should be out of town. Uh, yeah, but... <sighs> okay, I see you don't want to. I can create a more ideal situation. And how's that? If the police get a call about a super, you will be called to help, and so will Manic. And what, you can make one appear from thin air? Not quite. The man Manic reported sounded like a dead ringer for a member of your street gang. Ugh, those dopes. This particular member has a child with powers. Yes, so all that child needs is a friendly nudge and we'll have our villain. This can't be traced back to me, right? Of course not. The gang contact is the father, but I have connections to the mother as well. Um, hmm. What kind of connections? I was her broker before. I have info she wouldn't want the IRS to know. Ha! So it's time! If I threaten her with this... SLAM! Dylan! Ugh! What mom, what? She'll become desperate. I need you to rob a bank. You're kidding. Go and drag. It'll be harder for them to trace your identity. Oh, and use your powers, of course. Okay, now. Not to criticize your parenting skills, but Dylan! If I if we don't get the money to pay the bill I just got, your father will go and I will go to jail. And you'll still be expected to pay the debt when we do turn 18. Bottom line, we need money or you'll be on the street. So you see, I am an AI duplicate of Bat Vader. Uh, yeah, I got it. You're way too stupid to be the real one. Err, uh, what? Police just got a call about a new supervillain. Why are you so calm? Who knows what the police might have to deal with. Mayday, mayday, send back up. Mayday, mayday, send back up. We'll be that back up. What? Don't volunteer someone else. Ugh. Didn't think I'd ever see this. Two robberies in a month. They sure this is a good bank location? 
Hey, wait. I have an idea. What's your idea? Guess. It's dark, but you have night vision, right? <sighs> yeah. So you take the what? The super! Wait, no! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! What? Why? Zap! Whoosh! Help! Did you know that was a decoy? Shh! Posture. Can you hear that? Alternative rock? Oh dang! I had an instinct come over me at that point. I don't like this. I don't like any of this. Almost like a memory. And suddenly... When every second counts, and your head is filled with doubt, I realized the fact I had no idea what I was doing was the only reason I was still alive. <sighs> your mind is mind, and your heart is beating out of time. Your world is getting chaotic. At first you may have thought it, but there's no going back. This is life now. I wasn't doing well. I was nearing my limit. Last chance to have tact. Can you show me how? The game is over, but the soundtrack's still playing. And all I want to be waiting for, I finish what you started. Frozen in my psychotic spinning taunt. Tag out. Ah! Wait, what? I want to scream. I want to screech. I'm gonna die. You coward. Bleep. I want to cry. Will I die? It was simply too much for me. It was an overstimulation of the senses. And I didn't know what to do. I couldn't think of any solutions. So I tried to remember the last time I had felt so overwhelmed. I was young. In kindergarten or first grade, we were on a field trip to some retirement home or some place with older people. I think it was my first time in front of a crowd. So many people. I was terrified. But then teacher yanked me from the room. She wouldn't tell me ro why, but she took me outside. Thanks for getting me out of- Do you know you almost knocked over that old man's oxygen tank in there? I- What? You could have killed him! Memory, My memory gets hazy on how it went from there. I just remember feeling terrified, small, alone. I don't know. I may have yelled back that it was too overwhelming, or I may have just let her yell at me. But I do know I never saw an oxygen tank. I saw too much at once. I couldn't have focused on any one thing. I was so afraid. I didn't think to leave on my own. But as we walked out, I had been temporarily relieved. But you can't run from problems. You need to address and fix them. Leaving any situation can offer you a break, but it will come after you, and people could die. Well, AI! Help me, you idiot! The game is over, but the soundtrack's still playing. So, uh, now what? It's hard to know what the right thing is sometimes. And all I want You ever wonder About the voice behind the song Really? You're trying to control this Now? Who would ever sing out Put their soul out on display You, I suppose Refining and reciting Acoustics and understandings And then the fact and your lack of tact, and you just blurt out that you hate this wreck. I'd like to rethink those lines lest they expose why they're concealing what they disclose. Do you think that they know? I'll never know just what it is they mean. Just what it is they mean. Just what it is they mean. Just what? Think. Clonk! Just what do they mean to me? To be continued in Chapter 6.